Good morning, afternoon, or evening. How are you all doing today? Welcome back to Mr. Morrow's Algebra 2 class. Today we're going to start talking about equations, but before we can really start solving equations, guys, I want to make sure that you guys know how to write variable expressions, which lead into equations. First of all, the difference between an expression and an equation is literally an equal sign, okay? So if I say 2x more than 5, that's an expression. But if I say 2x more than 5 is 15, that equal sign makes it an equation. So the difference between expressions and equations is a simple equal sign. Now, in order to translate word phrases into algebraic expressions and equations, you've got to look for key words, my brothers, that describe mathematical operations. A lot of times students see these, they write them down, and then they think, okay, I, I've learned it already. This is something that takes a little bit of time and a little bit of effort on your part. For the operation of addition, guys, you have such key indicators such as sum, plus, more than, total, increased by, more, increased, add, added to, and there are some other ones too, but those are very popular ones. For multiplication, very simple but very, very important. Product indicates multiplication. Times indicates multiplication. The word of, two-fifths of 27, that means multiply two-fifths times 27. Product times of multiplied by per. Per is one of those tricky ones. Per can be multiplied, but it can also be divided. If I tell you it's $5 per CD and you want to buy 10 CDs, that's going to be multiplication because it's $5 per for every CD, so you would multiply. The operation subtraction. We got difference, minus, less, less than, decreased, decreased by, reduced by, and in the subtraction, there's a couple of them that are kind of, not difficult guys, but a lot of times people confuse them. I want to talk to you real quick about the less and the less than, okay? If I say the following phrase, a number less 10, you'd go x minus 10. A number, check, less, check, 10. Perfect. But if I said to you, brothers, a number less than 10, it would be 10 minus x. A number less than 10. Whenever you see the phrase less than, it does tell you subtraction, but it should also indicate to you, hey, switch. Switch the last part for the first part. So again, a number less than 10, the 10 went to the front, the number went to the back, and we are subtracting. That is a very common mistake that a lot of people make. So be careful with that, please. And then division, gentlemen, is quotient divided by, divided into, per, and out of. Per, again, Mr. Mall, yeah, remember what I told you. Per can be multiplication or division. As far as division goes, guys, let's say I tell you, um, you spent $100 in total on shrimp for, for a family dinner. But it cost $10 per pound of shrimp. How much did you spend? In that case, the per would be division. Because you spent $100, the shrimp are $10 per, um, uh, $10 per pound. You divide, you got 10 pounds. Okay? Equals, believe it or not. A lot of people don't teach the equals, guys, and it's really important is, was, were, will be, 
any tense of to be. Any tense of to be. And inequalities, please be careful. A lot of times people see greater than and they think it's an, it's an inequality. If you just see greater than or less than by itself, guys, that's addition or subtraction. But if you see, gentlemen, is greater than, that's an inequality. Is less than. I'm not trying to be sarcastic, guys. I'm trying to drive home a point. That's an inequality. Is at most. Is. That means it's an inequality. That's going to be greater than or equal to. Is at least. At least will always be. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. At most is not this wrong. At most, it's like Mr. Morrow is at most 42 years old. That means he's that or less. So at most is less than. That is my error, and I apologize. I will fix that right now. So at most is less than or equal to. My bad. No excuse. At least, though, is at least is greater than. So for inequalities, it must be triggered by the word is. If there is no is, there is no inequality, gentlemen. Okay. Tomorrow's situation with an algebraic expression, do the following, guys. One, identify the actions that suggest operations. Identify basically the key words. At most um, is more than. Uh, added to less, less than, of. Define one or more variables to represent the unknowns. Let's say they're talking about, you know, they want to figure out how many miles it's going to take. Then at the top of your paper, put M equals miles, or X equals miles, or 7 equals miles, okay? And represent the action using the variables and the operations that you just finished figuring out. When you're writing expressions or equations, brothers, it's very important for you to label things. Label what's happening. Label what's going on. Label it for you, not for me, for you. Okay? For example, write the algebraic expression for the phrase 7 fewer than a number x. Okay, first of all, what I'm going to think of, okay, fewer than. What does fewer than indicate? It's a subtraction, exactly. And what variable am I dealing with? I'm dealing with x. So how do you think I would represent 7 fewer than a number x? Sir, wrong. 7 Few, oh, wait, but it's fewer than. Remember what this? Fewer than. Remember, we switched. Good job. So this would be x minus 7 in this case. Because it's like a less than. Write an algebraic expression for the phrase 2 times the sum of a and b. Two times the sum of A and B. My brother. Very good. Two times parentheses A plus B. Because it's telling you two times the sum of A and B. So you have the sum A and B in parentheses, and you're multiplying two to that. Does that make sense, my brothers? Thank you. You start with $20 and save $6 each week. What algebraic expression models the uh, t total amount you save? Okay, this is where labeling comes in. What's the unknown here? No, you started with 20 You know you're getting $6 a week. You want to know how to model this. What's the unknown here? The amount of weeks. Great, guys. So I would say W equals weeks right off the bat. 
to help myself. Now, what expression do I have here? I start with 20 and I save $6 per week, which is a W. How would I do that, my man? Six W, very good. Twenty plus six W. Try to remember, guys, from from years past. Whenever you have a number n right next to a variable, and there's no plus or minus sign in between it, that means that they're being multiplied, guys. That means that they're being multiplied. How about Max start starts a mountain hike at an elevation of three thousand seven hundred fifty feet, and increases the ele and and increases the elevation by 50 feet every minute. What's the unknown, sir? Very good. The unknown is, we're going to call it M for minutes. Guys, do you have to call it M? You can call it any letter you want as long as you tell me what you're defining. If you decide to call it W, I really don't mind. I, like, I'm not, not being sarcastic. You can name it K, J, I don't care. As long as you tell me what that letter means. Go ahead and define it, please. How would I write this expression then, my brothers? Yes, sir. So I'm at the height, uh, an elevation of 3,750, and I'm adding 50 feet every M minute. Awesome. Thank you, my brother. You got it. Does that make sense, gentlemen? Okay. Let us continue then. The difference between the sum of a number and 12 and the difference of a number and 6. The difference between the sum of a number and 12. Let's start with that part. The difference between the sum of a number and 12 and the difference of a number and 6. What do you think is going to happen here? This is a good, good one. It's a complicated one. Yes, sir? No. Good try. I'm proud of you. Sir, You're, there's no division here because you don't have quotient. No division, but thank you for caring. Thank you for trying. Yes, sir? Yes! Yes! Fantastic! Check out what it's saying, guys. The difference between the sum of a number and 12. So I've got this sum of a number and 12. I'm going to call x the number. And the difference of a number and 6. So it's the difference of the sum of x plus 12 minus x minus 6. Does that make sense, guys? Okay. So this takes time, okay? This takes time, guys. This does not happen overnight. But you have all the tools you need to succeed. Are there any questions, gentlemen? Thank you so very much. Hope you learned a lot and have a wonderful day. You're very welcome.